Hello and welcome to Torres Testing on this beautiful summer day, in uh, actually spring day in mid Sweden. We have 21 degrees here and it's, it's just an awesome weather, uh, especially for testing knives. Um, today we are gonna take a look at this uh, Finnish knife, the first Finnish knife I'm testing. It's an Enzo. Um, very, very uh, nice knife, quality from <laughs> head to toe. Um, it is 85 uh, millimeters long. It has a, a blade width of 23 millimeters. Uh, oh, sorry, uh, 3.5 uh, millimeters and a weight of 130 grams. Uh, the, um, the steel is uh, D2, uh, but if you take a look at Enzo's uh, homepage, you can get everything about know <laughs> to know about this uh, the steel in this we have a full tank blade uh, and we have a flat grind on a um, drop point with a micro uh, handle this is a this is the smallest knife i'm gonna test this time but it is just a beautiful knife it uh, it you have it nicely in your hand and um, well it has just been marvelous to to work with the sheet is leather <coughs> beautiful leather sheet very well made as you can see with two belt loops the smallest if you want the the, the belt uh, or the knife high on you or uh, you can pull it up here if you want the the knife hanging low <coughs> it fits perfectly into it here and this is not going anywhere Okay, let's uh, take this Enzo uh, to the test. Actually, um, I was thinking when I got this knife that I wouldn't test it uh, like the others, uh, mostly because of the size of the knife. Um, uh, the weight wise, it's actually uh, pretty much like the others, but after I've been working with it, I, I was thinking, no, this, this can do it. It, it, it is uh, tough enough to take uh, uh, the beating, but is it big enough? Um, so I, I, I tried out and, and of course, like I've said before, I like to make my, do my Kindle with, uh, <coughs> by, by patterning here because you actually get a good feel of it and you can make very uh, small uh, Kindle here. Let's see how it goes here. This is hardwood and, and I actually it went uh, fine through. Of course, uh, blade, wide, uh, blade length does that you cannot take the biggest pieces of wood. Okay, as you saw, the knife uh, went uh, very, well, very well with the patterning. They actually took uh, <coughs> firewood that uh, also the Mora and F1 could. Um, so uh, very satisfied about that. Um, also, one thing you should, uh, I, I was thinking when I was working with this knife, uh, being a hunter, um, you won't, don't want a very big knife when you are skinning a deer or something like that. And I always take the test of if I can put my index finger up, out here. So when I, um, when I skin or uh, cut open a deer, I always have the feeling of where I have my knife. This would work actually very well with this. So this would actually be my <coughs> favorite if I would uh, be using it for as a hunt hunting knife too. Very sharp also. Bushcraft wise, <coughs> I've been uh, making, making this tripod here for my uh, bonfire uh, using uh, only, uh, uh, I, in Danish we call them uh, carpenter notches uh, and the <coughs> And the stick here for uh, holding the, the pan is uh, made out of uh, using, um, uh, I think we call them seven uh, digit uh, notches in here, uh, where I hang my, my pot. It has been working uh, excellent for this. Uh, I've been enjoying working uh, with it as a bushcraft knife. So uh, also I've been uh, lighting a couple of fires with it and uh, well, no worries there. Actually, uh, as you know, it, it does not come with a uh, fire steel. So 
I'm just using uh, testing with my my uh, own here. Um, let's see how it does. Okay, and now for the grading of this knife. Well, actually, the the grading and the score you can see uh, in uh, latest in the, uh, in the end of this video. Uh, but uh, what I can say is that it is just a bit of a dream to work with this knife. Uh, it is the smallest I'm gonna test, but uh, when that is said, it can do most of the things that the others can't. And uh, on on the plus side, it also can be used as hunting. And actually, my wife, who is uh, who is filming right now, has a good eye on this knife because, as she says, this fits her head very well. Also. So also a good knife for her. Uh, it's just a beautiful made knife and, and a dream to work with. Uh, I will be try to uh, to get my hands on the its big brother, the Trapper. Um, it has it has lots of videos out there for that, but but that it would could be fun to to see how that worked. Okay, let's see it uh, with the other knives. <coughs> Here I have the Bear Grills. As I started with, then I tested the uh, F1, uh, also a great knife. Then I tested the Mora Bushcraft Survival Knife, and uh, this time I tested the uh, Enzo Trapper. As you can see, <laughs> trip trap up, uh, very nice knives, all of them <laughs> in, in each of their ways. Uh, also, uh, I would like to point out the, the leather on this, is leather work on this uh, sheet is, is, is just awesome. The price for this is uh, 90 euros, so it's uh, somewhere in between um, uh, the Mora and the uh, Felknion. And I think uh, you have an excellent uh, uh, knife here for 90 euros. So that's it for uh, toys testing this time. Next time, actually I don't have that knife with me, but next time I'm gonna test another Finnish knife. It's the JP Pendleton knife. Uh, also excited about that. Uh, make sure to come and watch that knife too.